Hi everyone, Luis from Specify here. So today we're going to see how we can use Specify to generate in a web project using Tailwind a theme compatible with Tailwind and assets. So as you can see here, this is the output we will generate here. So we will have an assets folder containing our fonts and our uh, icons as SVG files. And we will also generate our font face imports in this fonts.css file and of course, this uh, theme.js file containing our Tailwind theme. So let's get rid of this and let's head over to specify and generate everything again. So as you can see here, I'm in a specify repository where I have several types of design data, including colors, uh, measurements, vectors and uh, many more and uh, what I will do is I'm going to use the specify CLI to get everything inside a local directory so let's head over to VS Code and let's install the CLI first so I, you can choose to install the CLI either globally or locally and uh, to your project. And in my case, I will choose to install the CLI globally. So I do yarn global add and specify apps dash CLI. Okay, perfect. So now this is done. So let's remove this configuration file as well because we will use the CLI to generate a work in configuration using uh, templates. So what I want to do here, I'm a web developer and I want specific, I want to use Specify to generate all of the output I, show, I showed you at the beginning of this video. So what I will do is I do the Specify command, Specify init, and thanks to this command, I can generate a configuration template. So here I choose use template and the one I want to use, I want to yeah, use is called Tailwind. And I want to generate this template as a JSON file. Okay, perfect. Um, as you can see, this template is not finished. We need to, and not usable as is. So we need to do two things. The first thing is we have to tell specify from which specify repository we want to pull our design data from. So here in Specify, I can see that the specify repository I want to pull my design data from is called All Design Data and it's in the Acme Inc. organization. So let's copy this. And it's by the way, it's also in the URL. So you can directly copy here, copy from here. And here, the personal access token you need is basically to tell specify that you have the correct access rights to, first of all, call specify and get design data in return. So you can generate your personal access token directly from your user settings, like I did here. So I will revoke this one and create a new one. I will call it CLI and I copy it. And now I can do this. So I passed my uh, personal access token. And now you can see that as we have installed the specify CLI, if we hit the specify command, we have at our disposal, several comments. So the one I used before to generate a template was called init. And here we have two other ones. So the first one is called sync. So it basically helps you make sure that the specified repository you are pulling your design data from has the latest design data available. Because in my my specified repository here, for instance, my colors, they are coming from this Figma file called Octo Primitives. And maybe the designers uh, have updated uh, the Figma library. So I need to make sure that I have the latest design data here. So Specify automatically updates everything every 24 hours, but you could also syn manually synchronize a Specify repository directly from the application or programmatically from the app. So here I will do Specify Sync. Okay, perfect. So now everything is synced and I can now use the specify 
pull command to pull design data from specify into this local directory. So specify pool. And uh, yeah, everything worked correctly, perfect. And as you can see, we now have the output folder that is uh, that contains our font size, our vectors that have yeah been uh, optimized as well, thanks to SVGo. And we have our theme object containing our colors, uh, our font sizes, our line heights, font families, and uh, yeah, several other things that we asked specify to uh, generate thanks to the two tailwind parser. Thanks for watching.